Why did you do it, Mia? Who's PCD? Pussycat Dolls. Brittany's my cousin. She's a choreographer. <sighs> She's teaching the pinks. What do you get out of it? Nothing. But you do. You dropped your badge a few days ago in the class. Unfortunately for you, April picked it up. She promised to give it back, so long as I get my cousin to teach her. Mia, I'm so sorry. I was defending you. Now I don't know why I bothered. Go find your own badge, detective. I'd finally found out who had my badge. But compared to falling out with one friend and betraying another, that didn't seem so important anymore. Yeah, and don't even apologise. He can't handle the fact that I'm right and he's wrong. Ruby's definitely guilty. Ruby Ray? That magic weirdo that makes people draw cats? Yeah. Never saw the fuss of her act anyway. I was watching rehearsals and she couldn't even find a pen. Are you sure? Yeah. She had lost it. Right in the middle of her act. Now take this. Yes. My pen. pen. Has anyone, Has anyone seen, seen my fountain, fountain pen? pen? Have you made, Have it, made disappear? it disappear? Anyone got anyone a byro? Right? And the whole thing's about drawing something. How late. Hey. Hey. I You're was right. wrong. You were right about Ruby. I jumped right in it without thinking it through, and now I'm not so sure she did it. You were right, but Mia. I really screwed that one up. I'll talk around. Do you want me to resist the old sharky charm? <laughs> Fancy another shot of the case? Yeah. Armed with the knowledge that Ruby's pen might have been stolen after all, we decided to check out when it went missing. I used it during rehearsal. Then we had the talent contest photo shoot. I was going to get copies made for my fans. What time was the photo shoot? Everyone competing had to be there at 8.45. When had you noticed the pen had gone missing? I was rehearsing at lunch and it was going brilliantly till I realised my pen had gone. Could have been a set-up. But even if I tell Quinn I've made a mistake, we've still got no evidence to back it up. I'm sorry, Ruby, but I don't think we can help you. Look at it from Quinn's point of view. You're talented, clearly able to control someone's mind. Even get them to ruin their own dress without realising they've done it. I know you didn't do it, but you could, couldn't you? How are we supposed to convince Quinn that someone with your extraordinary powers is innocent? On the other hand, if you weren't able to control someone's mind, it'd be a piece of cake to prove. I can't really hypnotise people. No way. I'm not supposed to tell anyone, magic circle and all, but it's all about the power of suggestion. When I hand them the piece of paper, I say don't pause to think about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nine times out of ten, they draw a cat. Clever. But if Nikki wasn't hypnotised, why was she acting like she was? Good question. So is that going to get me off the hook? We can try. But everyone's going to know the great Ruby Ray's a fraud. It's your decision. OK. What do you want me to do? Now we knew she had faked being hypnotised, the spotlight of guilt was shining on Nikki. More important than that, I had some bridges to build. I'll completely understand if you never want to speak to me again for the rest of your whole life. I've been a terrible friend for even thinking you could do such a thing. I'm really, really sorry. OK, stop. Enough already. You're sorry, I get it. I haven't been acting myself lately. And losing my badge, it really threw me. And I know that's no excuse, but if I've learned anything from it, it's that some friends are more important than pieces of metal. I told Nikki that Quinn had ordered Ruby to deprogram her, though that wasn't technically true. In fact, it was a complete lie. Two, one, curiosity. Her mind is now completely under my control. So she'll do anything we tell her to. Stand on one leg. Put it down. Even eat this. My mum gave me a banana. Uh, I still can't eat that. It's disgusting. Open wide, Nikki. It's your favourite. Banana. It's a medic. 
Michael, you broke the trance. Oh, pull the other one. You were never hypnotised. You were faking it. You trashed your own dress. N no, I didn't. She controlled my mind. She made me do it. I couldn't have done that, Nikki. I can't really hypnotise people. You made it look like Ruby had sabotaged your act. So she ate out. What has she done to you to deserve that? Are you just going to sit there and let them talk to me like that? Sorry, Nikki. I uh, have to go. Oh, you little. It was his idea. He was like, I hate that Ruby Ray. Thinks her act's better than mine. And I was like, whatever, babes. And then he was like, I'll make her pay for that. I never said that. I, I wouldn't do anything to hurt Ruby. I think you're forgetting. You dumped that little cow bag for me. You've gone the wrong way round. Ruby dumped Keith because he was trying to cash in on her act. So Keith decided to get his revenge and stop her winning the talent contest. First, he stole Ruby's pen at the photo shoot. He said himself he was good at sleight of hand. Jeez. Then he gave the pen to Nikki and she wrecked her own dress. She also left a footprint, butterfly glam bugs. But she changed her trainers for PE by the time we checked. Next, he staged a collapse and trance, putting Ruby firmly in the frame. Help! Before finally putting the pen back in Ruby's jacket. And when Red found it there, the case was sewn up and he got exactly what he wanted. And the pen was your big mistake. When we found out it had been stolen, we realised Ruby had been set up. Which is why I had to test Nikki. Turns out she was never hypnotised in the first place. If you'd have just eaten that banana, they won't be able to prove any of this. Oh, so this is all my fault now, is it? Actually, yes. I knew I should have picked someone with a few more brain cells. You stupid! Yeah, I am stupid. Stupid for getting myself chucked out of the competition for you. Pathetic. You don't understand. We could have been unbeatable. A magic double act would have walked this competition. Then you dumped me. Thanks. Come in. Justice was done. But more importantly, I learned a valuable lesson. When you focus too hard on one thing, it's easy to lose sight of what's really important. Hi. You've missed the typo. What? <laughs> By relaunching herself as a psychological illusionist, whatever that means, Ruby got exactly what she deserved. As for the pinks, they never reached a television audience, so we still don't know exactly what Education 3000 is, but I don't suppose that's the last we'll hear of it. As for me, I finally got my badge back. A deal's a deal, I suppose. Keep it. I don't need a badge to prove my good detective. Did you really mean that? What do you think? <laughs>